it was nothing to do with vision. And it, 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 it's, and I think it was probably very much like Steve Jobs in this, we had parallel lives in a sense, because we were the, we were contemporaries, right? And you want, and I watch him and I, uh, uh, so I would, for me, I, I guess I was describing, so I love to trade markets. I worked, um, you know, at a Wall Street firm, two Wall Street firms in about, for about two years. I got out of school in 73. Um, and I um, had problems fitting into the organization, meaning, um, um, you know, I literally, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I literally, you know, got in a fist fight with my boss because on New Year's Eve we were drunk together, and you know, it's it was that kind of it was a, it was not an organ I was not a well behaved. Um, employee and and, and it, you know working within an organization was not the right thing for me and I was always loved being independent and at the time clients of Shearson it was then Shearson at the time um, uh, had great relationships they loved it they loved working with me and so they were going to pay me and so I could then start my business I didn't view it as starting a business I just viewed it as um, I get to do what I like to do which is to play the markets and they'll pay me to do that. And then I did that. And then, of course, what happens over time is um, you need things. So I, I need people to work with. And besides, I love playing the game with people. And so I brought in other people, but people would do things. And, and so, um, uh, you know, and I get computers and I get other things over a period of time. And it grows and it became a company. But I never viewed it as a company. I really viewed it more like, I'm doing this thing, and these are the things that I needed, those people in that group, and then I just kept doing it, and, and the things I needed became the company. I was in that apartment for um, a couple of years, then I moved to a Brownstone, which uh, Brownstone is a townhouse, because I needed more space. I lived on the top two floors and worked on the bottom two floors, and I did that and had uh, you know, my, my family, I'm, uh, two children. And um, then we moved out uh, in, to Wilton, Connecticut, um, because I got tired of the city, and I wanted to raise my kids in the uh, outside. And uh, so then we rented a house, and so on. Now we have uh, 1,500 employees. When I graduated from uh, Harvard Business School, I was trading commodities. And this was in 1973. This was when um, uh, there was the oil shock and there was a need for commodities all around the world. And I had a bunch of pals who were in different parts of the world, and we decided to put together an association, we called it, um, that would bridge the waters, at, which w what it meant was that we were, uh, I would, we'd find commodities that were located in one place and uh, sold soybean oil from the United States to Iran in that kind of association. And this was one of those things that we did kind of um, part-time, um, but it, it actually didn't end up being, I think we did probably two transactions. It was more of an idea than a reality. Um, and I had the name. So in other words, I had formed the company, incorporated it, and I had the structure. And so then when I left Shearson, there it was.